Hey everyone, welcome to Day Deal on Display. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Trident Aegis case on the HTC One X. You are more than welcome to check out the Aegis at any time by visiting its official website, and that is going to be located at www.tridentcase.com. As always, we also encourage you to check it out at our own site as well at www.daydeal.com. So let's go and start off this video by giving you a lot of information. Hopefully you find all of it useful. Starting with the uh, weight of the case, it is going to be at 46 grams. Its length at 142 millimeters, its width 75 and a half millimeters, and its depth is at 13 millimeters. The change of all of this from the naked phone is going to be 7.2 millimeters to the length, 5.6 millimeters to the width, and finally 4.1 millimeters to the depth of the original HTC One. 1X. Okay, so hopefully you guys can uh, use that in any way you see fit. Now the Aegis is available in five different colors. We actually have all five colors in today's video. In front of us right now we have red with black, pink with black, and blue with black still in their retail packages. We are going to slowly dissect the uh, black version that you see in front of us right here in just a moment, show you all the ins and outs of the Aegis and what it is made of. And we already have the ballistic, uh, I'm sorry, not the ballistic green, but the trident green version uh, of this already installed on our dummy version of the HTC One X. And this is what we'll be giving you a 360 tour of a little bit later in the video. Okay, so those are the five colors, red, pink, blue, black, and green. Now all Aegis cases come with a screen protector kit that you see in front of us right here. Okay, it's this little insert that's actually on the inside of the case. If you open it up, you're going to get the following items. This is the little applicator card you saw at the beginning of the video. It has the web address on there, also a QR code for you to scan for additional content. It's also the physical address of the company on there for whatever reason if you need it. So there it is. Instruction manual is pretty self-explanatory. Open it up, it's going to show you how to install the case as well as the skin on your phone properly. White microfiber cleaning cloth, no surprises there. It's going to keep things nice and tidy. And the actual screen protector itself for your HTC One X phone. So yes, this case does come with the screen protector, and it is ready to use right out of the box. All right. Moving on to the uh, core case, the Aegis is a layered accessory. Okay, it actually consists of multiple layers all put together to form one piece, so to speak. Now it says three layers of protection on the box. I'm going to go and move it down for just a moment. Okay, there's actually only two really uh, major layers to consider. The is the silicone skin and the polycarbonate shell that goes over the skin. The third layer, uh, speaking of which, is actually the screen protector. Okay, so do you consider that a layer? Well, at least uh, Trident does, all right, but we really want to focus on these two layers right here, the skin and the shell. Now, the silicone skin is uh, nothing out of the ordinary. It's your typical run-of-the-mill uh, silicone skin that we've seen on uh, many Trident products, okay? It's durable where it needs to be, meaning that the uh, corners are a little bit reinforced. They stick out just a bit, okay, which is a good thing. It acts like a bumper edge. There is also these grips on the side that you see right there. They kind of have this... Uh, abdomen slash beetle like effect to them I'm not sure what to call those but in other words they stick out from the case and they're nice because they, they actually give a lot of uh, grip and it makes the phone while it's inside the case more manageable okay because sometimes uh, cases out there when they're put on the phone they feel a little bit unwieldy and if you have nothing to hold on sometimes they can even feel a little bit slippery which is not a good thing you don't want your phone dropping uh, in the first place now there are dust covers and openings where appropriate I'll go ahead and show you that on the pre-installed version in just a moment let's go and talk about the shell briefly so this is the polycarbonate shell there it's actually not that thick it is quite flexible really what this is meant to do is add an extra layer of protection it's always nice to have two types of materials working together to protect your phone because some things are a little bit better than others. Softer materials uh, like this are better for absorbing shock but on a more minor scale and harder layers like this uh, are actually better uh, in absorbing shock or sudden shock. Okay. In other words, uh, if you uh, actually repeatedly drop your uh, phone while it's inside the Trident Aegis, this layer is probably going to crack and uh, the uh, silicone skin layer is not going to exhibit any damage at all. However, if you happen to have a sudden drop this layer may not be enough okay the force is just too great it's going to pierce right through the skin it's going to give it a uh, kind of like this bouncy effect your phone's going to go over or over the place i should say it's going to ricochet 
or bounce like a rubber ball. So if you have something like this in place, uh, basically it just absorbs all of that shock. It cracks what it's meant to do. And then uh, for the uh, dulled impact, if you want to go and call it that, that's where the silicone skin layer takes over. Okay, so I just want to kind of explain that for those of you who don't really kind of get what this is all about and if it's really necessary. So enough of my jibber jabber. Let's go ahead and move on and show you the pre-installed version of the uh, Trident Green on the HTC One X. It looks very cool, and uh, as always with Trident, their colors are very vibrant. Let's start with the front of the phone and show you the lip that is created from the Aegis on f uh, the uh, front screen area of the HTC One X. You notice that the lip is uh, relatively thick, which is a good thing. That means if you happen to rest your phone on its face like so, it is going to be elevated up and away from the surface you're resting it against, which is always a nice thing. But more importantly, should you happen to drop your phone, and this is where I happen to move the retail packages out of the way and just kind of do a dead drop, you hear that kind of thud sound. Uh, that means the lip is doing its job. It's catching the impact first rather than the screen is. And remember, on top of all this, you are supposed to be using this in conjunction with the screen protector that Trident provides you. So for most intents and purposes, the HTC One X uh, should be in good hands. Moving on to the top, let's go and show you the uh, dust cover for the audio jack right there. Let's go and peel it back and show you what this is all about. You can see the uh, opening for the audio jack is actually not that recessed, okay, which is a good thing. Straight connector tips will work just fine. Angled connector tips will work as long as the uh, protrusion is facing toward the rear of the case. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, those are the connector tips that have a 90 degree angle to them or a L or 7 bend. Okay, so let's go and put that back into place. There's a covering for the power button on the top. It's pretty self-explanatory. sticks out quite a bit, but it is easy to press and register on your phone. Moving on to the other side, let's go and show you the dust cover, which is even labeled for the USB port. Let's peel that back and, of course, open it and expose it. It's nice and large, so it should accommodate all type of connector tips. Let's put that back into place. The coverings for the volume up and down rocker switch also stick out quite a bit. You can see it right there from the contrast of my fingers to the actual green of the covering itself. So it's very large, but once again, very easy to press. It's not a clicky feel. It is a somewhat mushy feel, but all that matters is that it still registers on the phone easily. Moving on to the bottom, you can see the uh, opening for the uh, microphone right there. And then moving on to the back, the little grill-like opening for the built-in speakers. Trident emblem in the center and opening for the camera lens and the LED flash. And yes, that is recessed in there, meaning if you happen to rest your phone in its natural state, in other words, on its rear like so, that camera lens isn't going to be actually resting up against the surface. And that is good news for most folks out there that try to keep their camera lens clean at all times because they take pictures a lot. And that is it, guys, for the uh, Trident Aegis case on the HTC One X. Closing thoughts and comments. Now this case is going to be pretty popular because uh, the Aegis is actually quite a uh, popular series from Trident. I know a lot of people uh, now follow the company and see what kind of releases they have for different phones out there, the One X included. It's also a direct competitor to the OtterBox commuter case. Now I will not say which one is better than the other. We do have an opinion, but I will say that OtterBox is stepping up their game. They're providing more color options for their cases. And for a long time, uh, Trident has always had the upper edge in this regard because they've always had these nice different colored cases versus the standard issue black that OtterBox uh, has always provided. But now that OtterBox is stepping up their game and giving different color options, um, it's really kind of a preferential choice. Do you like the design of the commuter or do you like the design of the Aegis? Speaking of which, protection-wise, the Aegis is pretty durable stuff. It's also pretty hefty. At 46 grams, it's definitely going to weigh down your HTC One X, and it does add a, a significant amount of bulk to the phone overall as well. Remember, the length increases by 7.2 millimeters. It's width 5.6, and it's depth at 4.1. So all those take into consideration uh, if you don't mind the extra bulk, and this is definitely a case for you. We're happy that it comes through the screen protector as always it's reasonably priced and we love the colors that it comes in so we think uh, Trident as always has a real winner in this product but we're not too sure if they're going to release anything else for the HTC One X the Aegis may be uh, what is offering and that is it so in other words no Kraken and no Perseus skin cover uh, and if you're waiting for those you might be disappointed okay so I just want to give you a heads up so if you want more information please check this out once uh, more at tridentcase.com show us some love on our own site at daydio.com follow us on Twitter Facebook as well as our YouTube channel and our Pinterest board thanks for watching as always guys we will see you next video review